All right, what's up guys? Tobacco's here again. Today I'm gonna run a few errands. Gotta go to the DMV and also gotta go to the tire shop for my bike because as you can see, it's getting really, hopefully you can see that. It's getting really bad. See these big marks and yeah, it's time for a new tire. Called them up and they uh, seemed like they'd give me a pretty decent price, so. First place I'm gonna go to is actually gonna be the DMV. And then after I go to the DMV, and then I'm gonna go to that uh, tire shop. It's in Reseda, California. So that's about 25 minutes away from me. So it's not too far. Uh, what was it? They charged me, or they were gonna charge me, I believe, or they quoted me at, um, they quoted me at, what's it called? Sorry guys, I'm just trying to keep my focus on the road and my driving, think about how I'm gonna get there. Anyway, so they quoted me for the two tires at about 130 for both of them. They're Bridgestone T130s, if I recall correctly, and uh, then they said they'd, it'd be about 70 for the labor. So that's not too bad, actually. It's pretty decent. And I called another place that was like five minutes closer to me. And uh, man, they quoted me like 400 bucks or something for like two tires and the installation. Like the tires were over like 200 or something. So yeah, it was way cheaper going with this other place. And plus they have a deal on Yelp where if you spend like $75 and you save 25 because you get a voucher for Oh no, if you spend fifty dollars and you get a voucher for like seventy-five dollars, so yeah, you're saving like twenty-five bucks, so and take advantage of that for sure. That's actually kind of how I found this place was I use Yelp and uh, I did the selection for uh or I did the filter. I filtered it for places that are only offering deals. So I found this place out, so yeah. That's it, Maine. It's a beautiful day to be riding today. I'm excited, and uh, today is my day off, and it's gonna be my day off for like four or five days, because I work um, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, wait, no, 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 Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and uh, on Thursday, I have like a 10 hour day, so, yeah, this is gonna be my little break. It's the calm before the storm. I'm turning my music a little bit. Hope y'all don't mind. It's on shuffle, so no promises. I got everything on here. I got like rap, hip hop. I got System of Down. You know, I got metal. I got a uh, Wu Tang Clan. Hell, I got Katy Perry on here. I got it all, man. I like it all. The pink bike. All right. <laughs> all right. I'll probably uh, edit the video so you'll see me when I uh, arrive at the DMV. Unless uh, something else comes up in the way. Like we see some action on the freeway or something. Do I want to take the freeway to get there, or do I just want to take the streets? Um, I think I want to take the freeway. Or, no, yeah, 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 I do want to take the freeway. Let's do it, Bobby. Let's do it, Bobby. Come on, get her going, get her going. I love riding on the freeway with my bike. Oh, uh, one other thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about is that, uh, you should notice a big difference in the quality of the video. 
because in my first video uh, I was using 1080p and I was only doing like 30 frames a second. Well, I thought that was the max it could go on this thing. I had the GoPro Silver 4, by the way. So yeah, I thought that was the max it could go for uh, frames per second. Well, I found out how to adjust it, and this thing actually goes to uh, 60 frames per second at 1080p. So it should be a big difference in the quality. I messed around with a few other resolutions, but I think the most optimal for me right now is a 1080 by 60. I don't know, I still gotta mess around with it maybe a little bit more, but so far I'm really liking the 1080 by 60 frames per second. What's up guys? So I just got done with the uh, DMV. It took a hell of a longer than I thought it would. There was a huge, huge line. Never seen a line like that so big for the DMV before. So the original plan was to go to uh, the uh, motorcycle tire shop or whatever, but I don't know. You can see it, but look at my speedometer. I need some fuel. So now, gotta go to the gas station. And I'm gonna be going to uh, Costco to get gas, cause that's like the cheapest place to get gas around here. So first, the gas station, and then we'll be going to uh, Chatsworth. Um, to get the tire, the new tires. All right, guys. So it looks like I got a a cop in front of me, a motorcycle cop. He he he. Let's see if we can uh, say hi to him or something. Say what's up. How's this day going? I don't know. We'll see what he's up to. How's it going, officer? No, uh, not much, man. Just a beautiful day to ride. All right, guys. What's up? So I'm over here at the uh, the motorcycle place, I'm getting the new tires. And uh, one of the things they warn you about as soon as you get your new tires, and that you should know, is that as soon as you get your new tires. Uh, they're gonna be really really slick there's like some kind of I guess like I was saying there's like a protective coating or something like that that protects it when it's shipping or something like that so it doesn't get all damaged and it's really really slick so the first 150 miles you want to take it really careful be easy on it and uh, so they've warned like three customers that I've seen. I think they warn every customer as soon as they uh, they get the tires and they have them like sign a release form so anyway this guy uh, on this Jixer yeah of course it's a Jixer guy <laughs> anyway he uh, he takes off around the corner. I'm in I'm in this building, you know, paying and everything like that. And uh, I see this guy taking off and he gives it too much gas on the corner. He just got new tires, so he gives it too much gas on the corner over there. I don't know if he's trying to haul some ass or what, but he was with his buddy going around the corner and he dropped it. I could hear it from way in there. I was like, oof. I heard it right away. So as you can see, there's some damage done to it. Thank God he had frame sliders on. Nothing really on the other side. Nothing too bad, I don't think. Nothing got damaged over here. Yeah, it doesn't look like anything really got damaged, but it's mostly on this side. You can see the handlebar got messed up. Frame slider went just totally like half of it's destroyed. The exhaust is pretty messed up. So yeah, that's why uh, when you get new tires, just take it really, really easy, guys. And uh, I'll get back to you guys as soon as I'm done with my tires. Peace. Getting my tires on. Now I gotta take it easy on this baby because I know this baby is slick as hell. Man, I can already tell that it's slick. I can just feel it, man. Thank you. It's 
So this is the uh, the part where that dude right there, actually that dude that is uh, pushing his bike, that's the guy that fell, that dropped his bike. So yeah, just kind of trying to take it easy right now. Like they recommend for the first 150 miles, because man, I don't want to be that guy back there and have my bike all busted up. That would really, really suck, dude. As soon as you get done, like, taking it to the shop, you drop it, it's like, damn, man. I bet you he's kind of pissed off about that. Uh, so, on my way home now, uh, kind of hungry, so, man. I've been out all freaking day. I've been out of the house since, like, 2 o'clock or so, and it's 7.01 right now. I was going to go to the gym right after this place, but man, I didn't expect it to take so long. So I'm going to go grab some grub. I got to piss like a racehorse, man, too. I wanted to go in there, but man, I was like, I, I just want to get home to tell you the truth. I'm going to piss on you. Drip, 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 piss on you, piss on you. I'm going to pee on you. And uh, what I eat? I, I had well, I took a piss first. After I was done taking a piss, I ate some yogurt real quick, and I just grabbed some meat and ate that real quick. Just enough to get me by. I don't want to be too bloated or whatever when I go to the gym. And that's where we're going next, baby. I'm gonna work out some upper body today. And no, I don't skip leg day. Every day is not upper body day for me. 